Opposition is growing, and tonight the first sign of backtracking on the proposal to redevelop part of the Country Club Plaza. Chris Hernandez brings us the story. Hi, Chris. Hi, Elizabeth. Tonight, Highwoods Properties, the, the owner of the plaza, said that this first picture that everyone has seen of this new building, this eight-story glass office building, a modern look, might not be what it looks like in the end. This comes as outrage increases from people who don't want to lose part of the plaza's original historic look. The balcony building at 47th and Broadway is in the heart of the plaza. Part of the Spanish-style architecture, like one of the famous towers, could be torn down and replaced by an eight-story glass office building. Modernize it, that's fine. Yeah, I like it old, but I'm not too concerned about changes. It wouldn't bother me. If we have the ability to, to keep some of that history here, why not do it? More than 1,500 people have joined two Facebook groups in protest. Today, calls in opposition flooded KCUR radio. They want to destroy the architecture and completely ruin the plaza. And, you know, this is like, this, this falls to me in the same category as the BP oil spill. It's all about money anymore. The new building would be home to the Posanelli Sugar Law Firm. Thursday, its chairman told us the plaza's owner, Highwoods Properties, was planning changes before the law firm got involved. Highwoods had plans for quite some time to build a building there, but we're just going to be fortunate to be part of that. Today, Polzinelli and Highwood said the look of the project may change, especially the first-level streetscape. To try to at least save that tower. Now, whether that tower is exactly in that location or needs to be moved in 10 or 15 feet, I don't, I don't know that, um, but I know they're looking hard at it. The Neptune Apartments would be torn down and would have to be rezoned. The opponent's best chance for success would be to stop that rezoning at City Hall. And an eight-story building appears to violate the design plan called the Plaza Bowl, which calls for shorter buildings along 47th getting taller as you go up the hills. City Council Member Jan Markison represents the plaza area. She told me today that it's important to keep the law firm on the plaza, but also make sure that Highwoods doesn't put something there that is, quote, totally inappropriate. The City Plan Commission meets October 5th. That's the first chance for public testimony. Chris Hernandez, NBC Action News.